Well, good morning, Southlake family, friends, and blessed Tuesday. So this week, as we're looking through various scriptures, we talked yesterday about dealing with fear, and I want to share another psalm that I think speaks to fear and where we find our strength when we're facing certain fears or anxieties in our life. It's Psalm 61, verses 2, and then verse 5 that really is companion to it. It says this, When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. You have given me the heritage of those who fear, or reverence is what that word means, your name. So now there's two key words here. I think the first one is overwhelm, this word overwhelm. And uh, if you uh, have ever felt overwhelmed, and of course you have, we all have, but what does that really mean? The word overwhelm literally means to bury, to cover, to engulf, to submerge in something. It's the word whelm, it's actually a word, is a word that means specifically those things. And it's, it's, it's like there's a surge, it's part of the meaning of the word, a surge that comes, like a surge of a storm or a tide even, that really brings the overwhelming circumstances. And I think many times you can feel like that through circumstances, sometimes people and their personalities or overwhelming. The word overwhelmed can be used positively. We're overwhelmed by somebody's generosity, say for instance. But most of the time when we feel overwhelmed, it's because we feel like we can't manage the circumstances, the people in our lives. So we, we feel like we're out of control. We just feel like um, it's too much for us. It's over our head. Well, the good news is, the great news is that God is never overwhelmed. God is the rock that is higher than we are that we are called to come to in every storm of life, every time we feel overwhelmed, to come to him because there could never be a surge of human activity or action that could ever uh, concern God or challenge God. And so to go to the rock who is higher than I, I love how the Amplified puts it, a rock that is too high to reach without your help. We even need his help to come to where he is, right? But that's where we want to live, and that's where we want to be. I think the second key word here is the word heritage, because he says, you've given me the heritage of those who fear your name. Whenever we're in fear by feeling overwhelmed, we, one of the things we're to do is to remember the great heritage that, we're, that we come from in Christ, that fear him or reverence him. And um, you just have to read Hebrews 11, I think, and I would encourage you to do that sometime today or this week. It speaks of the great heroes of faith and, uh, you know, starting with Abel even and but then Noah and then it moves on to Abraham, who when God called him to leave his country and go somewhere he didn't even know, he obeyed. And when he was tested to offer up his son, Isaac, the son of promise, he, he obeyed immediately. Um, it goes on with uh, Sarah, his wife, it goes on with even Rahab is mentioned there and and so there's men and women. It, it says towards the end that these are people that this world was not even worthy of. I mean, Moses, who it says, and I think I'm virtually quoting, who chose a mistreatment with the people of God rather, to, rather than to enjoy the passing pleasures of sin for a season. What a great heritage that is for us. These people that were just not even worthy of this world. The, the, wor the, the world was not even worthy of them. And then it says at the very end, that they didn't even experience the whole fulfillment of faith and promise because that was left for us to experience in Christ. So all of that to say that today, whenever you feel fearful, come to the Lord, who's the rock that nothing can ever be overwhelming to him. And remember, remember the great heritage, not only in scripture, but in our own lifetime, the people that have gone before us who have won the battle and the victories of faith and you belong to that heritage. You are those people. They are yours. And let's live in that victory today. Let me pray. Lord, thank you for the victory that is ours in Jesus Christ. Thank you for the rich heritage you've given us, Lord. May we do our part today to whatever tides and storms come our way, Lord, to run to you and to remember in you the, the wonderful family that we have, that and even to gain strength, Lord, as we remember. Help us to rise to the faith that you've given us as we find our place of rest and trust in you. So thank you. We commit the day. Keep us in that circle, Lord, of your love. Provide for, protect, and direct us, our families, our church family. In Jesus' name we pray.
Well, amen and amen. God bless you. Have a great day. I'll look forward to talking to you in the morning.